The most important thing I would work on with her, and the one we spent quite a lot of time with, has to do with learning how to relax in, in places where she's a little bit tense, a little bit stressed out. So in your situation, like around the neighborhood, uh, maybe sort of up and down, maybe on the sidewalk, maybe back a little bit from the sidewalk, places where she can, um, she can pair the sensation of being relaxed in her body with whatever it is that's making her nervous. So um, let me show you this game. Uh, it's called Relax on a Mat. Um, and I'll show you kind of how that works. But you'll see her, and I did the same thing with uh, June in terms of treating them for everything they do that's a little bit more relaxed. And so they learn that, ooh, it kind of feels good. And they start to be able to call on that whenever they need it. And you don't even necessarily have to bring the mat. But in cases where you have the mat with you, and say you have um, like people at your house, or you're taking her in the car, or you're taking her out somewhere where there's maybe likely to be traffic, something that might be troublesome for her, then um, just put out the mat, take a deep breath, have her do her work, and she'll get the idea that, oh, this is how, this is how she wants me to feel. Okay, all right, I'll show you how this works. So, I'm gonna put down the mat, hide, hide the food, at least make it inaccessible, I'm not entirely hiding it. <clears throat> yes. So I'm going to have her encourage her to come on and take a deep breath. <sighs> so we played this a lot. So she's very familiar with this game. And she already does it even before I do the breathing. But the breathing is the classic cue for her to start. And so you can see she already starts out with this curvy, her body has this curvy way about it instead of being in that real straight down. Sorry, I've got a Frenchie. The Frenchies are a little bit noisy. So anyway, um, I'm treating her for everything she does that's a little more relaxed. So when I look at her now, she never looks very upset. Oh, she's, she's about to go into it already. But the most, the most thing I notice about her that's a little more tense, if you could even call it that, is she's interested about this food that I have in my hand. So I'm going to treat her for everything she does that's sort of saying, oh, I'm not interested in that food in your hand. I'm not worried at all. So I'll take a deep breath. So, so you can see her ears are kind of perked up. She's staring at my hand where the food is. So anything that she does that is a little more um, relaxed, like she just did, where she looked away, then I'm going to feed her for that. So, okay, so she's looking at my hand. She kind of is patting her paw on my leg like, hey, I would really like to have that. Yes. In that instant, she turned her face away. So she's saying with her face, oh, I'm not all that interested in it. Don't worry. And she's learned that that kind of nonchalant attitude is what pays very well. So I'm going to take another deep breath. <sighs> Try to ignore the Frenchie. I'm going to treat. She just adjusted herself a little bit. To me, that looks more comfortable, so I'm going to feed her. Yeah, she's putting her nose down to the ground. She's turning her face away from the food, saying, oh, I'm not interested. Yes, I love that, wherever she turns away. What I would like to see, yes, is that, putting her head down low, because I'd like for her to put her head down. She will eventually put her, yes, put her head all the way down, put her chin on the ground, and then she'll kind of roll over on her side, which I love. <sighs> yes, just kind of looking away. Yes, putting her nose down. The nose down leads to that chin touch. Love it. Yes. Love it. It's so good. So I'm feeding her for having her nose down. She's doing a gentle paw touch. Like, don't forget that I really would like to have that. The other thing you probably can't see from where you're at, she's doing this thing with her eyes, sort of a half mast. Oh, I'm kind of sleepy, which is super cute. Ah, oh, good girl. Yes. She's putting her face in all these special places and holding it there to see. She's just experimenting to see what works. <sighs> yes, and I love that head down. Yes, 
smells so good. Yes. Frenchies are noisy. That's my shoe. She's kind of experimenting with her head. I'm going to pay for that. Yes. Very nice. So she's experimenting with her head placement. She's just putting it in places and holding. Yes, I love that. I do. Yes, I'll pay for that. So anyway, we'll do this one together. I just wanted you to see real briefly um, how to go about doing this so you can refer back to it. You're so amazing. Yeah, you're so amazing. Yeah, you are. You can even kind of encourage her to go over on her side. But when she's really into the game, she just rolls over on her own. She's like, oh, you must love me. Yes, very good. So you know if you can get this kind of relaxation, take it outside, you know, hang around near the street, maybe on the sidewalk or what have you. When she can be relaxed like this, on her side, eyes closed, all comfy, and cars are going back and forth, then you know you've been really successful with this exercise. But first, start it indoors, start it inside your house, and uh, move around different places throughout your house so she gets the sensation of trying it in different places. Maybe take it out into the backyard before you then attempt to take her out into the front yard. Okay, thank you. You're so beautiful. Say, I'm the most amazing. Yes, you are. While I've got her on the mat, I thought I'd show you her leave it. Although I think she already has this skill. <gasps> leave it. Leave it. Good girl. <laughs> You're so good. She's so polite. I mean, she's literally the most polite little girl. <gasps> Leave it. Yes, very good. You're amazing. Yes, you are. Very nice. 